that's what's more fun for me. I spent most of my life as Since the beginning of his career, Gary Oldman's had this ability to bring an edgy intensity to his characters, and he's had a plethora, everything from historical to fictional characters. He's got this great ability to show the darker side of human nature, so we've seen him in some pretty twisted and evil roles. Life was a tad shady for Gary growing up. He was raised by his mother and two sisters in the blue-collar areas of South London. But Oldman's creativity and uncompromising commitment led to him successfully studying the art of acting, working in television and on stage until he blasted into the world's collective consciousness as doomed punk rocker Sid Vicious in the 1986 film Sid and Nancy. Gary's unnerving personification of the world's most famous punk rocker propelled him out of obscurity and into the bright lights of Hollywood. During the 90s, Oldman extended his range, most notably acting as the historical figure Lee Harvey Oswald in JFK and as a brute Russian terrorist in Air Force One. But after filming the political thriller The Contender, Gary expressed his views on the role of an actor. When you come in and you're an actor, you are basically, you're like a waiter. You're there to serve the director and you know that you can come in and maybe offer 10 ideas up. One of them may get used. Um, and if they don't, well, you know, he's, he's, holding the, he's holding the film in his head and he has the vision and, 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 that's, and you have to respect that. It's that type of attitude that can get you into a director's good books, which is exactly where you want to be when director Christopher Nolan is casting for the reboot of the Batman franchise, Batman Begins and The Dark Knight. I mean, look at my career. I had been, you know, quirky, strange, scary Gary, doing all those weirdos and bad guys. And Chris Nolan cast me as Jim Gordon. A lot, of, I know, a lot of other directors wouldn't have done that. They wouldn't have, they, they, they wouldn't have had the foresight to go. Oh, yeah, well, I'm sure Gary. You know, he's, he's, a, he, you know, he, he, he's got kids. I'm sure he can be, you know, I'm sure he can take them out to Universal Studios and, you know, buy him, and buy him candy and, you know, corn dogs and be sweet. This foresight from Nolan opened doors for Gary to play positive characters, classifying him as the Cold War era spy George Smiley in Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy. No 007 style guns and girls here. Just a pen, pad and some top notch dialogue would be enough to earn Gary an Oscar nomination for Best Actor. His interpretation of the famous character Smiley was an introverted test for the exuberant Oldman. The thing that made it lovely to play was the fact that it's an, all, it's an internal role and it's all sort of going on inside and you, I'm, not, I'm not in any way, I'm not demonstrative or I don't express myself physically in a, emotionally in a physical way. So that was kind of, uh, that was kind of won wonderful to have the opportunity to do it, but but you um, but the material is it's all there for you, you know, and it's great to play a character piece. I mean, we long we long for those movies, don't we? Oscar nominations tend to promote actors to a higher pay bracket. So will Gary again bring out his dark side for a character? The villains are the ones you do for money. <laughs> They're expensive. Well, they will be now. <laughs> it's true, early in his career, Gary Oldman was often cast as our favourite sadistic characters, but it's been good in recent years to see a little bit of that dark balanced with some lighter roles. But I guess, good or evil, we kind of just want to see Gary Oldman act, so let's hope he keeps getting some good scripts. Stay tuned to Star Picks for all the movies you know and the actors you love. Broadcast in high definition with 5.1 surround sound where available. For more of the best in entertainment news, check out your movie network channels. Find or follow us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube and mnc.tv.